So while there are these uncertainties, manufacturers in the district still say that this is the truth. If we have these headwinds and the economy is still running at 2%, do you think there's a potential upside to economic growth if the trade uncertainty were to go away? Oh, I think so. I, I think if policy uncertainty more generally, not just around trade, but a host of issues, were able to be resolved, we could see a significant increase uh, in growth for a period of time. We've started to see hints of it with the productivity number, right? right. And so I think that th that is hinting toward higher growth, because unless we move one of two needles, that is productivity and the labor force, we're not going to get that higher trend. How much more upside do you think there is to the economy? Not a lot. I mean, I think we could get slightly higher productivity. We could run for a while a little under three, but that's not our forecast right now, just given the current situation. People probably don't know this, but one of the things you've been doing at the Philly Fed is oriented towards this issue of workforce development. Yes. With this big issue out there, this major mass issue, people can't find workers. Right. How much more? does the shortage click, of labor subscribe down below and click that bell. growth of the economy? Oh, I think in two ways. One, uh, we, on the plus side, Firms are now being much more creative about investing in capital, capital deepening, because they can't find the workers. And that will have a, a positive effect on productivity. But on the flip side, I, I talked to a major home builder. He said, no, I can't even find, not people that carry bricks and sticks. Forget plumbers and electricians. I can't find people, laborers on the, the site to build the homes. That is limiting growth for sure. Wow. Um, is there, has there been any progress in this environment? We have brought down some of the unemployment rates in certain sectors, yes. certain uh, cohorts of the, of, of the labor force. Yeah, I think we've been surprised by how many people are coming back into the workforce, and that is a very good thing for them and for the country. How much more there is of that? I'm not sure. Um, one thing people talk a lot about is the possibility that the U.S. rates could go to zero. Do you see that on the horizon? Is there a possibility of negative interest rates in the United States? I'd never, ever say never, because right? <laughs> that comes back to black people. Um, so I don't think that right now, I, it's a high hurdle for me to think about having negative rates. There are a lot of implications in the U.S. economy if we did that, but I'd never say never. What about the uh, banking channel and the idea that a reason for the Fed to act, and, and, and that could be in a variety of ways, is to actually target the yield curve? Have you thought about this idea of restoring positive slope to the yield curve, either by working on the long end, we're working on the short end to increase the profitability to banks to lend. So that is one of the conversations we're having among many with the Fed Listens uh, effort that Vice Chair Clarity is leading, right, in terms of looking at our monetary policy uh, framework. Uh, no decisions have been made about this. It's a complicated issue because given that the U.S. Treasuries are the safe harbor around the world, just because we would take action doesn't mean the world's going to go along. We can't build a hill, right, because the world's going to keep knocking it down. Potentially, yeah. So uh, any efforts that you make to restore positive slope to the curve, they get flattened by the, the uh, room to run to uh, save assets yes. in the United States. Absolutely. Um, how much concern do you have uh, if rates remain too low for too long for the financial stability side? Yeah, that is the other factor that uh, I have to weigh. I did, didn't think the cut was uh, appropriate necessarily, but I went along with it to get back to neutral. But I'm on hold right now. My forecast is just to hold where we are for exact one of the reasons is that. That I think we we run the risk of subscribe down below leverage in the and click that bell.